Hello, my name is Demarcus Tyler, and this is my story in seven. Seven or less. We're gonna shoot for seven and just see how it works out. Fingers crossed. Um, so, um, real quick, just as like a point of reference, one of my biggest fears in life is that um, I would go through, or I'll go through life not having any experience, love, or having people who want me around. So keep that in mind. Um, now let's go to the beginning. Uh, I grew up in a church. Mama always made sure her two babies, me and my sister, would get to church. Doesn't matter if it was rain, sleet, or snow. Rain, sleet, or snow. Um, if there's lightning coming down, if the car breaks down, or there's no gas, Mama's gonna make sure her babies get to church. So I was always the kid who was leaving the sleepovers on Sunday morning early because my mom was outside in the driveway ready to come pick me up to go to church. And when I got in the car, she had some church clothes for me to change into once I got to church, get in the bathroom so I could be presentable to the Lord. Uh, but despite all that, I didn't really uh, seek a relationship with God or Jesus uh, because for, through my perspective, it seemed like if I was to do that, I wouldn't be uh, considered cool or I would be lame or I'd be this hoity-toity, uh, uptight, goody-goody. And like I said before, one of my biggest fears is uh, not having people who want me around. So through my perspective, if I was to be this disciple, then people wouldn't run me around. And so most of my life, I would go to church physically, but I wouldn't really pay attention to the pastor and not really picking up my Bible outside of church. Or I pray to the Lord rarely, not very much so. But yeah, I was really seeking a relationship with God. But all that changed once I got to Kentucky Wesleyan College. Um, um, my second semester, or not even my second semester, I like, I accumulated friends, uh, my best friends, uh, in the whole entire world, who have made such a stronger impression on me, and who have encouraged me to chase the kingdom, and to walk in the steps of Jesus. Uh, my old roommate, I was seeing him. Uh, pick up the Bible, read the Bible at least once and pray to God every single day. And just through the way that he talks, um, I, he would speak as a very godly and righteous person. And in seeing that, I was like, oh, snap. You know, there is a person who is a disciple and who is walking like Jesus. And I want to be like him. <laughs> Like, I, I want him around in my life because he cool people. So seeing that made me want to pick up my Bible, started praying more often, and I'd ask questions uh, that I'd have about um, the Bible to those who I considered wise. And it's not just my old roommate, and who's now my best friend, who... Uh, has made a strong impression on me. I have several people who I consider my best friends, um, who I love so dearly, who have made a strong impression on me, who have encouraged me through their actions to seek the kingdom of God. Uh, I mean, these people, I can't stress enough how much I love them. Uh, I mean, I could go to them for anything. I could have a conversation with them up until 3 a.m. just talking about life. I mean, these guys, they're the ones who uh, sang happy birthday to me in the middle of the calf. Um, they're the ones who uh, I would waste the night away playing a silly little board game that just makes me aggravated. Uh, I mean, I love these dudes to death. And I can't stress that enough. and. Like these people, like I said, uh, my biggest fear was uh, not going, uh, not having people to who want me around in life. And these people who are disciples, like they wanted me around. And being seeing that has encouraged me to.
pick up my Bible to be as strong and as close to the to the Lord as I possibly can. And uh, now I can now leave this earth knowing that uh, there is uh, there are people who want me around and there are people who love me. And it's not just my friends, but it's Jesus Christ and God.